Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today I will be showing you how to get a win in duos with a friend. This method will only work if you communicate with each other, otherwise it would be harder. First of all, you want to land in a spot that has good materials, but not too close to the launch drop zone. You want to land far, but not too far, or you may have to keep moving due to storm. Second, gather materials from a good place. An AR, shotgun, shield, and materials. Always push when you have this stuff. I push here because I know that there is a player out in the open. And I have a better aim and gun. Since you're still in duos, their partner will come. After you kill your a teammate, your partner to come to you quickly. To have your back. If you... As you can see here, I messed up by not putting any wall is in front of me, and my teammate does come out here to help me out. Third, either keep looting if you have time, or go to the storm circle. This only applies if you're out of the circle. And of course, don't get into a risky battle with the your health. Fourth, form as many mass as you can. You never know when you could get into a build fight. When you're farming, quickly move while breaking. It may help you just in case you might get sniped at or shot at. Crouching while gathering materials may do the same thing for you. Headshots. And it may easily block bullets. As you may see again, I tried to get myself up to 180. I have big pots. Fifth, you may want to find the fastest possible route to the circle. You don't want to get stuck. Using rips, launch pads, or vehicles would be the best option for you. Substreams in Season 9 would be closer to your destination. 6. Always jump and move, or you may get sniped. An easy way to do damage is to peek quickly, go down, spraying until, spraying until reload. As you see, both players are aiming, so I didn't peek. When they're vulnerable, you always want to see them them and try to do some love taps when not aiming at you. Seven. Separate the others by fighting a 2v1. My mistake was letting my partner by himself, and I took damage because I wasn't covering myself. He made a mistake here because he did not, he did not build over. I was able to knock him out and try to separate him from the other player, since I knew my teammate was not on the other player. I knew my player was going to die, but I definitely wanted to get his Rubu card so he could at least get healed up to 100. If you revive him on the ground, he will only get up to 30, so Rubu card would be a lot better. Always take high ground, as your partner's Rubu card is still there. When the other player is breaking down your build, take a shot and do not die to fall damage. Get your partner's Rubik card. Once you finish off the second player, the Rubik card will still be there unless you're too far away. If not, definitely go to his Rubik card after your fight, because of course you need to at least lessen your opponent's health. This guy's mistake was he did not build fast enough, as he tried, but he failed. Here I had seven seconds to get my Rubik card. My friend. I was able to get it, and it was going to go to Salty. Revans are definitely one of the key elements in this game. If we did not have them, we would not be too worried about someone getting knocked. I didn't see another fight going on, but I decided to just reboot behind the tire, because they can always shoot under. Once your partner is rebooted, stay with him until to let him get his stuff. Until he gets his stuff. Of course, if he let him by himself, he might get two v one, or even worse, one v ones. After every fight, you may want to heal up. Of course, there was another team on the hill, as I didn't see them. 
They were the ones that got the shot off first. Knife. No, that getting into another fight could lose you materials. And help. Make sure you don't take too much damage. This person right here just stole my friend's baller and left. Smart move. He didn't have a teammate. Using campfires to your advantage is a very good opportunity. Especially once there's another fight going on. And as they were shooting at me, I didn't notice them. And I didn't notice they were coming from Their mistake was they didn't know how to shoot bullets. Or they didn't know how to aim. Of course, they were vulnerable right there, so I could easily shoot them, but they were that was spraying at me first. So I decided to give a little love tap, because they weren't aiming at me. They were aiming at my partner, as he was building. I could see that the other teammate was right there, so I decided to box myself up a little more, giving myself some extra room, but some more fire range. As they were both aiming at me, knowing I did some more damage. They knew that they were probably dead. My teammate was able to snipe him down. I warned my teammate that there was still someone here, and he, he didn't know where the player was, so I decided to ping him. Of course, pinging may not always work, especially since there's another, there's another team behind us do anything when I shot him, as do not take as much damage. Of course, in this end fight, do not follow your other teammate, and don't let them follow you. You both need to be t leaders right here. Try and cooperate with each other, because you are in the final circles, and there's only about seven people left in this game. Do not force your teammate to do something. Always ask them to do it. Of course, they'll probably not like it. They might hate you for it. But that's not the reason why we're here. Tenth, boxing yourself up or camping may look bad, but you want to use it to keep your position in place as the storm may be in your favor. If not, you should have something to move around with you. If you do not have anything, of course you want to turtle yourself up. May be the best option you have. I told my teammate to try and stay low, as there was another player there's not other players with many, many sniper rifles. I found an opening on this player and was able to shoot him. I told him that my t I told my teammate that he was white and I I wanted to go push, but he said no. It was a great opportunity to push, but it wasn't really, especially since there was three players there, as there was only five players left. And pushing with his other teammate there would have been a bad decision. We decided to try and knock the place down, but it wasn't much of an opportunity to knock him down, especially since there's a lot of things there. That was our mistake because knocking something down like that would take a long time. The storm was in our favor again, I boxed myself up and turtled. Camping was our only objective right now. And then we decided to try and knock it down. It was connected to a lot of things, but we could have knocked it down. Either way, we would not have taken much fall damage because of where he was. The storm was behind us, and we had zoned in. We had zoned. I saw another opening on that guy and started spraying him. And I could see that they were aiming at us. I signified my teammate to stop and do not look and peek up. As he was on the ground, I was above. We both had both directions of where we could shoot. I had the opportunity to shoot some of my grenade launcher. It did not do as much damage as I was, I was, I was hoping it would do, because most grenade launchers are one of the best opportunities. Then, I was able to split them apart. This was a very easy tactic to use with a grenade launcher. He took storm damage and I saw him move. Once you see someone moving, you should move as well to the next storm circle. I was able to get on this, uh, on this mountain, keep high ground up here. Right here, he didn't have a sniper. I thought he was using a sniper, and someone was right here. I wanted to keep my high ground, because I did not want him to get above me. He, he would have done a lot more damage with that thing. I had a My favorite thing was attack. But my teammate was able to win it all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to IDWC in the future. I may be doing streams with him. He's really good, and he's...
He's not he's not as good as me, but he's a really good teammate. And following him and him following me was really good. Thank you guys for this video. Hope you guys love it and enjoy it. And I will see you guys next time. Help me help you.